Hello everybody. Well today I'm going to do a shave based and inspired by an ebook that I found. It's a, it's a book that you two can find uh, by searching the Library of Congress. It's called Shaving Made Easy, What the Man Who Shaves Ought to Know. I don't know if you can, can see that or not. I'll post some, some pictures of the, the cover page. It is published in 1905, if you can pick that out. The author is anonymous. And uh, I started looking for this, for resources whenever I first started being interested in, in straight shaving. And I'm going to do a straight shave with a real straight razor. This is uh, the razor that uh, Paul Bombino uh, straw, uh, honed for me. It is a, uh, I believe it's it's a French made izzard razor, uh, vintage razor. Uh, can't make out all of the the thing the information on the the tang. But it's a Dumas uh, I believe it's AIN A I N E thirty two. And there's some sites that you can look and, and find. This is a a seven eighths size razor. It's a pretty pretty hefty razor, pretty big razor. I'm gonna do one pass. Uh, I'm just gonna barely attempt to do some of my chin, I, that's going to be the hardest part. The sides are going to be fine, but the, you know it's the chin that's going to be the hardest thing in the neck. It's going to take me a long time to learn how to do straight razor shaving. But um, first I, I was kind of poking around in the family archives and I found a, 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 an old video clip. A, a, a film of my great great grandfather, and he he liked to to read to us. So uh, here is my great great grandfather, Civil War veteran, reading to us from a book. This book, Shaving Made Easy. Watch, enjoy. Now. For our reading tonight, I shall choose a book that I found at our local book dealer. It is an unauthored, anonymous book that is about the art of shaving and about the proper way and everything that a man should know about shaving. And here we shall begin. This chapter is entitled, The Soap. Next to the razor, the most important article of the shaving outfit is the soap. It, it, in its proper use lies the real secret of easy shaving. The razor may be ever so good, but unless the beard is properly lathered with a good soap, shaving will be anything but a pleasure. Use only a regular recognized standard make of shaving soap, not under any circumstances a toilet soap. The latter is not intended for shaving and is likely to produce irritations of the skin and leave the face rough and oh so sore. A wrong idea prevails regarding the use of the soap. The popular impression is that the soap is used for the purpose of softening the beard, in which condition it is supposed to be more easily cut. This is a mistake. The soap is used not to soften the beard, but to produce exactly the opposite effect, namely, to make the hair stiff and brittle, so that they will present a firm and resisting surface to the razor. A hair is, as is well known, a tube composed of a hard fibrous substance. 
growing from a bulb or root which secretes an oily matter. This oil works its way up through the hair and by permeating all parts, renders the hair soft and pliable. Now, in this natural oily condition, it is very difficult to cut the hair with a razor and it becomes even more difficult if the beard be made still softer by the application of hot water. Many do this and it is no wonder that they find shaving difficult. When this is done, the hair becomes soft and limp and the razor will either slip over them entirely or else cut partly into them, bend them back and slice them lengthwise, all the while pulling and straining them at the roots and making the process of shaving most painful. Now soap has the opposite effect. It contains either alkali or potash or soda, which when applied to the beard in the form of lather unites with the oil of the hair, neutralizing it and removing it and renders the hairs hard and stiff and brittle in which condition they may be easily and readily cut. For the sake of cleanliness, the face should, of course, be washed previous to shaving in order to remove any dirt and grit from the beard, which might dull the razor. But before applying the leather, the face should be well dried with a towel. Good night, fair ones. Sleep tight. It's interesting, this book talked about, at the time, in 1905, when it was published, that uh, there had been 100,000 safety razors sold in the United States, and of that, this author speculated that only 10% of them were still in use due to the difficulty of sharpening and honing the razor's edge. Well, the valet came out in 1910, and I, I pulled out a, a fresh valet auto strop. I stropped it with my my strap here. I don't know if you can see it. I stropped it with my valet auto strap. I think it's going to be pretty sharp, but. I'm going to use Williams soap. I've had some water soaking in it. I don't have a mug. It talks about the mug. It's important. I'm going to use my Barbershop Chicago boar hair brush. The one that's got the curly cues on the top. Pour the water off. Get it a little wet. I think the secret of using Williams soap is the, the soaking it ahead of time. And this book talks about you know putting water in, putting your brush in, and getting it used first. But it doesn't take long to whip up some fairly decent lather. It talks about the the more you work the puck, the richer the lather becomes. And it does, this book describes something in the lathering process that I don't think we really do. And I use cold water. But it talks about completely drying off the face before applying the lather.
no pre shave. You can just wash the face. Apply the lather on the face. And it does talk about you know if you want need to add some water, dip the brush in water. Work the lather. A lot of us, we think we're ready to shave. They go, no. You work the lather in with your fingertips. And it's the, the chemical reaction of the soap with the whisker and the working it in that makes the difference of the productivity of your lather. Of course we've seen you know people do straight razor shaves at the barber shop and the barber does this massaging. Maybe there's purpose to it. That delay in getting the lather worked in maybe we just thought it was an extra step but let's just work it in with your fingertips you don't use hot water and then afterwards reapply Smooth out the lather again before you shave. Okay. Dry off my hands. And I'm going to start off left side. I'll wipe my blade instead of rinsing it in water. One of my problems I have is that my mirror is far, far away. I have a fairly deep counter. And even in the best conditions, I can't see real close up, so. I may have to remedy that somehow.
done over neck. It's kind of it's kind of dry. Yep, the chin is definitely going to be the difficult part. But let's see how we did. Otherwise, I'm not expecting to get fantastic results on my chin. I've got a lot of learning to do. Now, this side is better than this side. Didn't do too well on that side took quite a bit off on that side so that's my beginning one pass dry this off strop it put it away so now a little bit more water in my brush I was kind of surprised that this board brush with that Hurricane Curly Q in it, it still produces pretty good lather. Okay, got my belay blade in. I'm ready to go. I'm going to do another. with the grain pass. Cross the grain.
Well, damn fine cheese level around. It's not baby but smooth. And it talked about witch hazel and bay rum. I don't have any bay rum, but I've got some Florida water. Do another shot of the Florida water. Steptic. The book talks about having some steptic available. The alcohol kind of opened that up a little bit. Now, after after a few minutes, it's going to be much closer to baby butt smooth shave because when your your pores relax and close, even using the cooler, tepid, cold water, you know your your pores do open up. So after your face dries, after applying a good aftershave. Even though you didn't feel like it was damn fine, it was damn fine shave level, it could very well result in near or, or even baby butt smooth afterwards. So, that was the retro shave back to 1905, 1907. Um, everything a man needs to know about getting a good shave. Look that book up on the, the internet. It's interesting reading. Some interesting things, not just applying to straight razor shaving, although that's primarily what it's all about in this book in particular. But uh, the, the cold water shaving, the application of the lather, how you apply the lather, some interesting reading. So until next time, good shaves, be happy, be safe. Bye-bye.